apple pie and pumpkin pie and mince pie and cherry pie and pecan pie. And then we started thinking, what can we make as a special little thing for everybody to have that here at the table? Because in addition to the turkey place cards, we like to have something special. And this year we decided we were going to tie-dye t-shirts, matching t-shirts for all of the guests. <coughs> Purple was our color of choice. And we got Rip Dye number 12. Purple. Royal purple, six boxes full. And then we started to look for a bowl big enough to pull all the t-shirts in. Well, wasn't I lucky because I had the stuffing bowl. And I filled that up with my boiling water and my rich dye number 12, six boxes royal purple, and put all those T-shirts round up with elastic bands and poured boiling water and let them soak all day long till they were brilliant purple. And when they dried out and we took the elastic bands on, they had big medallion bursts on them and they were beautiful. And we wrapped each one with a ribbon and put them at the places along the table that went out the kitchen and into the hallway and all the way to the living room. And the night before, I started stuffing in my clean bowl. And I put in all of the breadcrumbs and the nuts and the apples and the celery and the cider and the nuts overnight in the refrigerator until Thanksgiving morning. Everything was ready and the guests were about to arrive and I pulled things out of the refrigerator to see how things were. And I was shocked because my stuff was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, overnight, the stuffing sitting in that ceramic pool, which must have absorbed all of the Ritz dye number 12 royal purple, decided to seep back out into my stuffing. <laughs> and you can't have Thanksgiving without stuffing. And the supermarkets were closed to go get anything more. So what was I going to do? Was I going to just serve it to the guests? But what if it was now her poisons? Oh, I can't poison all my guests with purple stuffing. So I did what any good hostess mother would do. I called poison control. <laughs> there is a poison control hotline number for Thanksgiving Day. I guess I'm not the only one who has problems like this. So I rang the number and they said, poison control, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I said, I have a problem. My stomach burned purple. And by this point, I'm crying on the phone. And they calmed me right down as if they'd heard this a hundred times. And they said, lady, you got the box. And I pulled one of the boxes out of the trash and I read them all the ingredients on the back and they just laughed and they said, enjoy your purple stuffing, it won't hurt anymore. <laughs> and I was so relieved, I thought my problems were over. And then I realized, how do you explain purple stuffing to five Uncle Pete's? How are they going to want to eat royal purple rich dye number 12, purple stuffing? And that's when we got our great idea, a story. Way, way back when the pilgrims were having their first Thanksgiving and trying to make their stuffing unique, I bet they cut up purple grapes, don't you think, and put them in their stuffing, which of course would turn it purple. So we pulled the grapes out of the refrigerator and we cut them up and we decorated the top of the bowl of stuffing grapes all around the edge. And it became the centerpiece of our Thanksgiving dinner. Pilgrim purple stuffing, elaborated with grapes. And the problem was solved until the next Thanksgiving when I served just regular old stuffing and everybody stopped, disappointed, and asked, Where's the purple stuffing? <laughs> so that is a true story from my life, and I'll let you know how to make purple stuffing.